With the prices of golf clubs going up and up each year, golf is becoming more expensive. But if I told you that you can buy a custom fit driver for just over 200 pounds, you wouldn't believe me. Well, welcome to PXG. What's up guys, welcome back to the Golf Magic channel. I'm Alex here at the Berkshire in England and I've got my hands on the PXG 0211 driver. What's so special about this driver is the price of it and the technology that comes with it. PXG used to be known as a luxury brand with very expensive clubs, but this driver comes in currently at 205 pounds and that also comes with a custom fitting. At 205 pounds, this is almost 300 pounds cheaper than the TaylorMade Stealth Plus. What are you gonna get with those extra 300 pounds? Well, we're going to talk about that today because, funnily enough, it's not really anything. PXG invited me down here to the Berkshire where I met Jack, their experiential fitter, and I got fitted for an 0211 driver. What I was most interested by was the numbers that I was getting in comparison to my current gamer. What's so important with custom fitting is that you can see if the current clubs you have in the bag is right for you. What we instantly noticed is the current setup I had with my Callaway driver wasn't really working, a little bit too low launching and not really as forgiving as I'd like. The 0211 instills confidence and massive ball speeds distance forgiveness and that's actually what we saw we didn't necessarily see any massive ball speed increases but over time they're a lot more consistent i'll show you some data now we were going around 175 mile an hour ball speed with the px geo 211 it's actually a little bit less with the callaway because it's less forgiving by being put into the correct shaft and head combo for 205 pounds this genuinely will be the best value driver on the market in 2022. But what key differences are there between this and let's say a four, 500 pound driver? So in terms of technology, it actually is quite similar to other drivers. We've got a high speed titanium face in the PXG and we've got a low CG high MOI design. That's also with weight being put to the back of the club. So from a technology perspective, although they're not going that much into detail to this, if you actually look right into it, it's very similar to other ones that we've actually got this year. What I really like about the PXG is its design. I love PXG's kind of all out black finish. What they have done with this, they've got a multi-material finish on the crown, with a slightly lighter gray in the back of it compared to what's actually right on the sole with the alignment line. In terms of its actual shaping, I think it's a little bit smaller than other drivers. Let's say the Callaway Rogue ST Max is a slightly more elongated shape, but don't let that put you off because it certainly is a forgiving driver. From hitting it, I'll let you hear the actual sound of it. What I've noticed, especially after I got fitted for it, is my misses are actually quite close together. Some drivers you could say when you hit it off the toe and out of the heel, it's not that pleasing to feel. This definitely gives you feedback wherever you hit it across the face, but I've noticed that they still go quite a long way. This can be down to two things, the technology that PXG put into the clubs and also getting custom fit for it. If you're getting a club off the rack that's 500 quid, it's not gonna work for your swing. You need to get custom fitted. By PXG offering this, it means that the club that they're gonna put in your hand is the one that's gonna be right for your swing and what you want out of it. What I've been able to do by hitting this for about an hour or so is really get used to it. And now hitting it here on the range at the Berkshire, I'm able to hit about a five or 10 yard fade very consistently. And I feel extremely comfortable with this club, a 205 pound club. The feel off the face and the sound is quite different to other drivers. I would liken it quite similar to the Ping G425, maybe not right along that end of the spectrum, but we're here because it is a largely titanium club. The feel was slightly different to that, say a, a Taylor made or so, which has got a lot of carbon, same to Callaway. So the main difference here is feel. I have noticed that the feel between this and let's say a premium driver that is worth 500 pounds or so is quite different, but it will always be down to personal preference as to what you want to do. A lot of people have the Ping G425 and play which is largely titanium and a lot of people prefer that is that worth an extra two three hundred quid i mean i will let you guys decide but i don't think that is at all golf clubs are becoming more and more expensive and it becomes a problem when we're not instructed to do the right things if we are let's say pushing to buy the brand new driver that goes 10 yards further off the rack without a custom fitting that's largely quite problematic especially for the brand as well because if you do get a 500 pound driver from american golf without getting fitted or anything it probably won't work for you 
And that is a big problem because then you're gonna blame the clubs as well as yourself. What PXG do here by offering a custom fitting with a 205 pound driver, it means that the club that you're gonna get is right for your game. So not only does it have all the technology and all the performance of a driver that's more expensive, but it's gonna be tailored to your swing. Rather than getting a brand new 500 quid driver with a Project X 6.0, even though you swing at 95 mile an hour or so, you can get the exact right shaft, the exact right head combo, and hit a really nice shot time after time. At 205 pounds for a driver, this is by far and wide the best value for money driver you'll find in 2022. You're actually going towards the budget end of drivers. You go and buy a secondhand driver about 200 pounds. The big difference here is it's not custom fitted for you. PXG are really pushing the custom fit option with all of their clubs. I think it's a really positive thing for golf and amateur golfers because it means you're gonna get clubs that are made for your swing and your swing only. I would love to put the PXG 0211 driver up against some other drivers this year and some comparisons. So I think you guys would like that quite a lot too. So let me know and I'll try and do that at some point this year. Let me know what you think about the PXG 0211 driver. I think it's something that you really need to try out to realize it's really good value at 205 pounds. What's the difference? This isn't an ad and if it was rubbish, trust me guys, I'd say it was rubbish. But you can see on the track man and the shots that I've been hitting here today, that truly is a very good driver. And although you may not think it's got a lot of tour feedback, that's not too important because they're paid to use the clubs. If you are new to Golf Magic, guys, smash that subscribe button and smash the like button if you have enjoyed this video. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of PXG, but I wonder if I would be a big fan of their other products. Stay tuned for the rest of the year to see if I am. Till next video, guys, I'll catch you later.